Oh, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's fun. I'm so proud, yeah, excited. Yeah, it's hard to put it into words. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's definitely been an emotional 24 hours, you know. I uh, got a bit emotional yesterday, I'm not sure. I don't even know why. I think it's just because, uh, you know, this moment in time just won't, you know, this team won't stay together and it's going to be, it's just such a great opportunity, it's such an amazing season. Um, I suppose you just wanted it to go well on the biggest night, and um, honestly, I couldn't have asked for anything more. The boys were unbelievable. What did you mean when you were emotional yesterday? Just elaborate on that. Sorry. Just elaborate on what you meant. When oh, you I just emotional yesterday. I just like some uh, just quiet moments on my own, and then um, a little bit in front of the boys. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. It's just I it just came over me. I don't really know why. So, but I did think it's just because. Um, you know, we've done so well for so long, and you just kind of think, oh, anyone can win the big day, and anyone can win any game. So I was just, I suppose, I just really wanted wanted to today to go well. So that's how I, I would best explain it. Oh, you've broken so many records over the last three years and been so dominant. But that first 75 minutes tonight was that as good as you played for three years? You reckon? Uh, yeah, po uh, possibly. I think with considering everything on the line, and, um, yeah, I mean, it was just a. It was like honestly, it was a dream come true that first half. It was just sat back and watched the boys go to work. Um, you know, they know they know how to play. That uh, you know, we've worked out. I think over the last couple of years in the grand finals we've played in, I think we've learned a fair bit. So put that to good use, not just tonight but during the week. And um, yeah, the boys are unbelievable. I'm very lucky and certainly blessed to be their coach for sure. What's the secret to staying up for three years? Oh, we just take one day at a time. Really. That's all I got. <laughs> I think that's one of the Yeah, it felt uh, <clears throat> pretty crazy. Like, you that feeling? Yeah, I thought the first half was <clears throat> probably the best 40 minutes we've put together. Um, yeah, almost over that three um, year period, just in terms of what we wanted to do. Um, the first sort of 10 minutes was pretty close, like we were expecting. We sort of wanted that cycle footy, and then off the back of that, it just yeah, felt really dominant. Um, you know, we probably bombed a few chances as well, but I just thought, you know, what we were doing and the way we were just moving from one player to the next was, yeah, it was, um, it was good to be a part of. It must be an incredible feeling to be just in that dominant zone in a grand final, knowing you are so well and truly on top. Yeah, it's a bit different to last year's grand final. It felt like it was just scrambling for ages. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was very nice to. Um, you know, play the way we wanted to um, on the biggest stage, and you know we've worked hard for that, um, not only physically but mentally. And you know, it comes out in the big day. Do you think that's something that you've learnt in that 12 months? Is that if you just st stay in there, that you're going to come out on top? Like you felt more relaxed this time around? Uh, yeah. Um, felt definitely felt more relaxed, like leading up to the game. Um, I don't know. I just felt confident in our preparation and, and what we'd done. Um, obviously, last year was different circumstances. We had guys that were busted like just trying to get to the game deals on crutches the day of the game carrying on a bit but um, <laughs> and then yeah this year I don't know it just it was just a really good vibe around I thought we trained really well we knew what we needed to do and um, yeah we just we did that. Nice turnaround for Dill to be on crutches the day of the grand final last year and this year you get your club Churchill how do you feel? Yeah um, <clears throat> a bit surreal at the moment I mean yeah I feel honestly it's it's credit to the rest of the team they make my job incredibly easy and uh, Boring. <laughs> 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 no, it's true. <laughs> no, they do. Um, yeah, I'm lucky to. Oh, I'm lucky to be a part of this team. He's my brothers, and I like going. I love going to work with them each week. So it's awesome. Can you like maybe talk about yourself just for a second? <laughs> just like having that medal around your neck. No, it feels nice. It's it's been a bit of a crazy year. And it's nice to be rewarded. Uh, that kind of sums up Dylan, doesn't it? The effort, desire, especially for covering tackle uh, on times. Yeah, I think his defence is actually. Um, he's always been good at organising our defence, but he's but he's actually try saving and tackling and has gone to a new level this year for us. Um, I mean, you mentioned last year. I think that was probably the, the real making of him. Like to be able to go through what he did last year, and it just showed that much courage, like as much physical, like mental. 
um, just to put his hand up and say, I'm, I'm playing, when we honestly didn't think he would. I think he's, yeah, that's probably, if he could get through that, he could get through anything. So, yeah, I'm stoked for him. He totally deserves it. Well, Ivan, we, after grand final, we often talk about dynasties, but you've been in three grand finals you now in a row. Won the last two, that you won the national championships, Jersey flag, um, I don't know, whatever else, uh, club championship, whatever. Um, well, there's no end in sight. Yeah, we just take one day at a time, so we're not, gonna, <laughs> we're not gonna give a shit about next year. We're gonna enjoy it tonight. Um, it's been an unbelievable season for our club. Like, I just, you know, it's never been done before, I don't think, four grades, and I, it's hard to put that into words, other than to say how, yeah, I'm sure proud we all are. Um, our, our club is very aligned. Um, everybody um, is their own person, but they all, you know, we all have this, we're all, I guess, um, woven together by a common thread of doing our best for the club. How rewarding is it though to see that, I suppose, all that hard work um, pay off like it has this season? Yeah, it's just it's honestly hard to explain how good that feels. Because um, it can be gone and, you know, there's four of those titles, there's grand finals to play, there's sudden death semi-finals, there's I mean, anything could go wrong. and So you've got to have a bit of luck too. So. You know, the footy gods have obviously been on our side and that's awesome. Um, just can't wait to spend the next couple of days with these guys, honestly. It's, it's just, you've got to savour it. You mentioned, you mentioned that um, you're a little bit emotional because these guys are leaving. I know this was their last game, but obviously you've got the talent coming through to take their place for their shoes. Yeah, well, that's sort of how our club works and you know, that's how we're going to, for us to be any good, we have to be able to do that. Um, as I said, there's a lot of people in our pathways and a lot of that just work so hard and, you know, don't get any credit, don't seek it either. And I think that's probably the secret. But it's very sad. It's very sad that, you know, in our team this year, not just players, but coaches, staff. And yeah, we'll never be together again. Like, it's, it's sad. Um, but I don't think we're going to be sad tonight. We're going to be happy. Such a great system and such a great club. It's yeah, absolutely. Pretty rare, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's definitely something that I'm, I don't take for granted. It took me six or seven years to get to my first grand final. So a lot of the boys that come in and had success straight away just because they've come through such a strong system and had success in the lower grades, where it definitely hadn't been the case for me. I've, um, it took me a while to get to here. So look, I'd, yeah, I'm privileged to be a part of it. Um, I loved every second of it. How beneficial, Ivan, is the last two grand finals in, in how you get your preparation right for this week? Yeah, it, it definitely helps. Um, as I said, we changed a couple of little things um, um, this week. Uh, not, not, not a lot, but we definitely learnt, um, just around distractions and stuff like that. Uh, to the boys' credit, they, they nailed every training session, um, which is pretty much what they've done most of the year. I, honestly. I can't even think of a training session where I came off and wasn't happy. And that's what, yeah, the way you train is how you play. So, yeah, it's just the credit to all of them. They're just so consistent. And, you know, they leave their egos at the door when they come in and they just, they all get on well, but they do everything for the team. And that's, good things happen. Can you share the couple of changes? No. <laughs> Okay, we've, we've worked too hard to have that, that little bit of IP, so we're going to keep that. But obviously your preparation was different this year because you were in Sydney. It was, you know, not just business as yeah. usual. Yeah, it was. And was that a positive? Oh, for sure. Um, you know, we loved the whole Queensland thing last year. It was, yeah, I mean, that was just an incredible experience for so many different reasons. Uh, the year before, obviously, we didn't win the game, so it's not as, as good a memory. Um, but it was also COVID affected. So even walking out there today, when you first walk out to the ground, you know, it's like a traditional full house. The, the crowd was unbelievable. Um, and just to be able to share it with our community is like, that's, that's what we thrive on. That's what, that's what we are as a club. And that's what we value. So. And to have the state championship too, to win that on the same day, did that sort of pump everyone up? Did you get to see any of that before? Yeah, a few of our staff came over um, I walked over to the ground and watched. I, I decided to watch it in my room. So um, that was awesome. 
yeah. Um, and then to see them all, uh, one thing really cool last week at uh, Combank when our, our cup team won, won their grand final, all, all these boys just took, you know, just went as, as, a, as one on the day after we beat South, went down to the game. Um, we're all cheering like, cheering like 10 year olds. Um, so cool. And then also all those boys were doing the same tonight, you know, as a group. I think that's probably why I got so emotional. It's just, um, it's just such a great feeling. Um, yeah. Just back to Dylan for a sec. You're usually very mild mannered in the coach's box, but when you made that tackle on Bailey Simons sure, and you absolutely yeah. lost it, <laughs> can you talk us through the emotion and uh, why we got that reaction from you? I was just carrying on a bit, I suppose. So, yeah. <laughs> I saw that. I was like, oh no, that's awful. Um, <laughs> Uh, you know, like, like cover tackles, like it's just, yeah, it was a little moment in the game where we were up 22 nil, I think. Um, they were starting to throw some good stuff at us and, you know, throw caution on the wind and just didn't want to give them a sniff. And yeah, old oh, mate at the back here just, just been doing it all year. So it's just a, yeah, a great moment. I know you've got a, like a special group of players here, but how do you think your coaching has evolved, like given how long you've been in the game for and You've been to grand finals, but you haven't been able to win one as a coach. Like, how do you think your coaching's evolved? Just got good players, man. You lose enough games, you learn a few things, I suppose. Yeah. Mm. But honestly, I have a great staff, got great players. Makes my job easy. Mm. Ivan, you have obviously that was Afi's last game for you. Um, the big talk in the week was whether you were going to start, continue to start Mitch Kenny, and you must have been happy with the way that he showed up, especially defensively in the first. 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, I was honestly, I was, um, I wasn't sure what to do. Um, we just did this as a bit of a against South, I think, in um, one of the later rounds, just to give um, Appy a bit of a rest like from the. And Mitch went really well, and then we did it again. And then last week I wasn't going to do it, but decided to. And then I still wasn't sure this week, you know. Um, but Mitch was unbelievable tonight. Like he, like, he was just an animal. It was just so good. And Appy just, um, yeah, it's just worked out well. So when Appy comes on, it's just like, oh, oh I won't say what I was going to say, but he, he, he makes people feel good. And, you know, everyone plays better when he's out there. And he's had an incredible season. Yeah, we won't be able to replace him, you know, so. And you, you've won four competitions now. You've got a fifth one if you take on St. Helens next year. Do you think that's something you'd be interested in? Oh, for sure, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, you sit back and watch it, you know, years gone by, and I think it's something that everyone would always want to be part of. And um, yeah, I'll be putting my hand up for it for sure. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. Lovely. Let's go. Let's go.